Crew TV family, welcome to episode 2 of Crew Cakes. And today, for episode 2, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. For the first time ever, we're not going to be looking at somebody's collection that's in the crew. We're looking at my good friend JP's collection, and he's got some crazy stuff. JP's collection consists of a crazy Stephen Curry collection, from Nikes to Under Armors to unreleased samples and player exclusives. So it's a pretty dope collection, and he's also got some other things in there too. But that's not all we have for this episode. For episode two, we're going to do the first ever sneaker discussion. We're going to talk about a few things like the all-star sneakers that Nike's releasing this weekend and the well very anticipated Yeezy Boost. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and check out JP's collection. My name is JP, I'm from Union City, California. So I started collecting Curry sneakers, I would say about three years ago. You know, being a hometown guy, going to say Warriors fan, you know, Steph has been killing it in the league. So I started collecting it early and then it just picked up ever since. All right, so we're gonna start off with my Curry collection here. Uh, we'll start on this table. Um, this is the first pair. These are the Hyperdunk 2010s. You know, it's crazy, when I when I think about these shoes, I, I hate to say it, but I think about when he was laying on the ground after he rolled his ankle. Another Curry PE here with Nike, these are the Air Max Flight 11s. I actually got them at the Nordstrom Rack for the low low, but SC30. When he moved to Under Armour, they just started coming out with hella Curry PE. So, um, the first one that came out, wearing them, the Zone PE, he's where, when he, uh, to commemorate when he scored 54 at Madison Square Garden. Uh, he went off on the Knicks. These are crazy, these just dropped, no release date. They just showed up at a Champs in uh, San Francisco. These were the last spawns to come out. Blue Splash colorway. Curry wore these up until the end of the regular season. So after the spawns came out, um, the Clutch Fit Drives were next. When Curry played for Team USA, they came out with these home and away uh, USA colorway. So these are really nice, I really like these. The home and away pair. So he wore these for home games, these for away games. Really comfortable, man. If you haven't gotten a pair of clutch fits, you should. The micro G on them is really nice. These are the blue gradient. Uh, these were actually an East Bay exclusive. Once again with the SC30 hit. All right, so here's uh, the second table. So these are the D-Lee's Hyperposite PE. So these are uh, a size 15. So D-Lee wears a size 15, Golden State colorway. Would you trade him right now if you were the Warriors? I'd uh... trade him. We got Draymond. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, when you think about it, he's a double-double machine. These were one of the first PEs I picked up. Found him on Facebook. Came to a price. At first he wanted something really high. I said, nah, I'm good. And he came back to me with a more than reasonable price, I should say. So I ended up buying it from him. He had a bunch of other PEs that he was trying to get rid of. for hella expensive, but uh, this one caught my eye. So this is a favorite pair and it's his last pair before he moved to Under Armour. These right here. I actually picked these up off a guy on eBay. This is the Away, also known as the Reveal. Right there, he's writing his own story, which he basically is. He's killing the league right now. Here we go. The Curry Ones. This is the special box that they gave wear testers and uh, everybody that attended the uh, event last week. His PEs are actually a white UA. So I was thinking about maybe when I get my pair, I might paint it white just to make it match because mm. I, I kind of like the white. I kind of like the white branding on it. That's the the ones he already wore had the white on yeah, there. Yeah, the one he wore when they played the Cavs, it had the white on it. Yeah. And I believe it was just probably it was probably to show the the logo because I mean if you look at it from afar you can barely see it. But yeah. It blends in. This is the home colorway of the Curry ones. Real crazy story on this one. Um, underscore NDP on. Instagram. He is one of the brand marketers with UA. Posted a pic of a pair of like shoes he just keeps in his trunk, his hoop shoes. And I saw a pair, one of Curry's PEs. It's a clutch fit that he wore back in the playoffs. And I just commented, I was like, hey man, uh, I need the info on those shoes. He responded back, uh, told me he would send me some stuff. And to be honest with you, I thought he was gonna send me a shirt. I didn't know what the hell he was gonna send me. But man, he sent me some nice pairs. So this is the home colorway of the curry one he's come out on the 13th this is kind of going to be like grail status this was another pe i was sent these are the birthday pe's you guys probably seen this on uh curry's feet on his birthday last year um it is a sample pair not for resale i was speechless man i still don't even know what to say shout out ndp man nick man you're you know, unbelievable dude i don't i don't know what to say so his game is rated r you need your parents so now y'all see my little curry collection here um, I'm gonna go ahead and now show you what I started with, uh, Nikes, Jordans. This is what really got me into sneaker collecting, so I will show you that. Mm. 
man, that was some pure fire. Now, if you guys want to watch part two of JP's collection, the rest of his stuff, not just his curry stuff, he's got some great stuff, make sure you guys click that thumbs up for me one time. Let's try to get at least 3,000 thumbs up for JP. And next week on episode three, we will be looking at the rest of his stuff. But now it's time to discuss the world of sneakers. And we are going to be talking about a few topics. And I actually got some special guests for you guys. Harris and Dustin. Thank you guys for being a guest on Crew Kicks. Thank you for welcome having us. Episode Thank you. 2. Nice to meet Everybody, you, Everybody, please show a warm welcome to the gentlemen of Crew TV, Harris Thank and you Dustin. Thank you. Thank well, you. thank you guys for coming out today. It's you know, an honor to have you guys here. You, you're giving me a vibe here. We have a, we have a connection. I, I heard. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Let's keep that for off the Let's camp. say like Let's it's a left... Like a left and right shoe type of thing. Yeah. That's where I'm feeling. With Dustin, it's like two right shoes. With you, it's like a right and a left. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it before we get caught up. Let's, let's keep it professional. Some may say that's the perfect pair. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so we're going to discuss a few topics about the sneaker, the things going on in the sneaker yeah. world, some things that are coming out this weekend. Let's start things off first things first with the Nike All-Star Collection, mainly the Kobe's, the LeBron's, the KD's, and the newly released Kyrie's. So first things first, Harris, what's your opinion on the collection overall? To be honest, personally for me, I'm not really too excited about this collection. I feel like they had a lot of open space, especially with the gray and black and white that they could have, you know, uh, done, done a lot more stuff, especially if you're looking back at the other all-star game. You had the, what was it, Louisiana, what was it, the gumbo? Yeah. You had a Big Bang, Area 72, all that kind of stuff. I won't be copying anything because I'm not really too excited about it. No I feel like bronze. No bronze for me. Dustin, yes. okay, if you had to pick one of the shoes out of the collection, which one you cop? And are you going to cop anything? Um, most likely I would get the Kobe's, to be honest. I like the Kobe's and um, I don't know, something about that green and orange. Yeah, that's makes really it nice. Kind the of Air Max type thing. Nice. So you're going to be so, popping or no? Yeah, I'm, I'm eventually going to buy the pair of shoes. If you could choose the theme for this year's All-Stars collection, what would you make it? You guys want me to go first since you guys got Yeah, yeah give us an idea. Okay, so <clears throat> I, knew, I knew what I was going to say with this because this is what I want to do actually with my LeBron IDs of the All-Star that I plan on doing. The year is 2015. I think that the theme of the, sh the whole All-Star collection should have been Air Max. I think they should have, that would have been a great All-Star collection. Air Max theme Kobe, Air Max theme Kyrie, Air Max theme uh, KD and Air Max team LeBron and on top of that they should have just released the Air Max even though they're gonna do it later this year but I thought it would have been a great idea to release it. The hype would have been crazy and I exactly. think it would have outdone the Yeezys even though the Yeezys are like the topic of this weekend. Yeah. I think that would have competed straight up with that so. For me I like architecture so I probably would have liked to see some maybe building designs on the shoes if not uh, the subway system, that whole red and blue oh, and yellow line. If they would have incorporated that into the upper of it, the bottom bottom of the shoes are beautiful. That whole fading. I would agree with you. More little uh, Brooklyn themed, uh, you know, the Brooklyn Bridge. That would have been sick. I think one of the shoes. shoes. Empire State. You got Statue oh, of Liberty. Yeah, yeah you got. Yeah, Imagine Statue of Liberty crazy. themed yeah. all four of those shoes. The whole collection. That would be sick. That would be crazy. Lady Liberty's yeah. coming out anyway. The ten. Yeah, so. that would have been a good idea. That's our opinion on the All Star shoes. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys plan on copying any of the All Star kicks. Comment, comment down below. Okay, our second topic that we're gonna talk about is uh, new signature athletes. There's a lot of new models that came out. Um, this is kind of away from the whole All-Star Weekend thing, but there's a lot of them that are getting their own All-Star shoe. One of them, obviously, is Steph Curry that you guys saw in the sneak peek. So out of all the uh, signature athletes, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, uh, John Wall just got his new shoe. Um, who else? I feel like I'm missing. Kyrie too. Kyrie, there we go. Out of those four, who do you think has the best signature and uh, who do you think should have his signature? Just two simple questions. I'm gonna go with the Damian Lillard's. Um, I really like what Adidas did with that one. I think it was pretty groundbreaking. So who, who would you say is a, would you like to see with the shoe? You know what? If Clay would have stayed with Nike, I would have loved to see a Nike shoe yeah. play. No, I don't think But he went with Anta. Well, he's in the All-Star game, so I'm going to pick Clay. It's not official yet. We don't know if he's signed up. Oh, that's yet. true. It might be by the time this is, I don't know. I'll pick the Kyrie's. Kyrie's? Oh, yeah, because you hooped in them, right? I hooped in the Kyrie's. I had a really comfortable shoe. I really like it. They remind me more of the Hyperfuse 2011s. All-time favorite basketball shoe. But um, I would go with the Kyrie's. And uh, one player I want to see with the signature shoe. I would like to see Anthony Davis with his own shoe. Oh, that would probably happen. I would I want really to see that. Anthony Davis. That posit should be his own shoe. The brow. 
I want, I want to see that. That would be sick. Yeah. His first shoe should be called the brow. The brow one. The brows. Okay. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah, that would be my first. Just have like one bushy lace. Just <laughs> cover <laughs> everything up. <laughs> For me, I say the best shoe right now is the one that I've uh, been playing in too, is the Kyrie's. I'm really interested to... I saw the Kyrie's too, I, I, obviously, but... The Kyrie's for me is I just need to play in them. Once I play in them, then I'll know which one I like more. Because I really love playing in the Kyrie's. As far as who I want to have their own shoe, you guys are going to think I'm retarded, but I got to go with Swaggy P. I think he'll have a crazy shoe, like some Yeezy type. Yeah, Yeezy yeah. Type I don't know if he's like, he has that mentality to design. He probably but, does. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, it, it's better for him to have an off-court shoe. Something just yeah, fashion yeah, yeah. wise, that would be tight. Or at least give him like his own like PE, like a signature, like a, a hyper dunk PE or something. Yeah, or something. something. Yeah. Or yeah. But he's yeah, he's trying to get into that Jordan yeah. Jordan contract. He's not trying to mess with the Nike thing right now. Alright, let's get to our final topic and uh probably the best topic is the Adidas collaboration with Mr. Kanye West. Oh, right? I, heard, yeah. I heard about that guy, he's yeah. at the Grammys. Yeah. The Yeezy Adidas Yeezy Boost 750. Um, 750 uh, pictures leaked. Some may say that's how many men Kim Kardashian slept with. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, the most I would pay for that shoe is probably 180 plus tax. What? It's yeah. not even going to be that much. You're not going to find it's gonna be cheaper than that? No, it's, it's going to be like 250. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't want to pay that price. But I mean, if, it, if I had the chance to get it, I would get it. If y'all got EP for us, if you just let yeah, us know. Yeah, <laughs> But, no, if I had a chance to get them, I would buy them. There, there's a few things I really like about the shoe. The bottom, with the boost, uh, I thought that was a really cool thing. It has the inner boost on the inside. Uh, the strap was another great thing. Just really simple three, the Adidas three straps around the inside of the strap. Um, no Yeezy name, no Yeezy boost, nothing on there. Um, me, personally, I think I, I really like the shoe. Uh, but I cop. Probably not. I'm not really the type of guy to probably wear something like that. If you could cop them for retail, you would cop. If I could cop for retail, I would. Um, would I possibly wear them? Uh, I don't know. Family party or something. Something nice. Uh, for a guy like me, if I wear them, they'll look like Uggs. But uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about that. But we'll leave it at that. We live in California. Uh, we don't wear Uggs out here. I feel like Kanye took like straight like control over everything that was going on with it. Uh, my opinion on the shoe is I really like the shoe. You guys know I'm a big Kanye fan, so I'm gonna mess with anything that he releases. The design is great. Um, I think with his shoes, a lot of people were disappointed in this. Uh, but you gotta understand that as he grows, his style changes, just like every one of us. It's like we're not wearing baggy clothes anymore, we're wearing skinny jeans. So as he, his, uh, he gets older, his style changes, his style comes more grown, the shoes are gonna become more grown. He's not gonna release a streetwear shoe like the Easy 2 or the Easy 1. It's, Crazy like that, and you gotta look at the shoe as from a high fashion end uh, type of view. So the shoe to me, I compare it like I told you as like a Balenciaga or something like that. You got that brown box that kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton box. So to me, I'm also getting into that style too, where I'm starting to like a more fashionable like Cole Haan's and uh, uh, Balenciagas and things like that, rather than just like Nike basketball every single day. Because you gotta get to that level when you get older. So to me, when I saw the design, I loved it because it it's. It's just a really nice shoe. You could dress it up, dress it down. There's five different ways to wear it, which I'm really interested in checking out. Yeah, yeah. And I love it. I love the shoe itself. And the next question I was gonna ask you guys is, do you think Nike should be scared? Yeah, I think so. Do you think people are gonna stop wearing Nikes because Kanye? No. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't no. think so? No, Kanye, no. He's, he's a rapper. He has a lot of influence through music and stuff. Uh, I don't think it's gonna hurt them at all. I'm really happy that Adidas is back into the market. When you get a Nike product, let's say you're paying, you pay 200, people pay 250 retail for the Yeezys. Mm -hmm. What kind of box did it come in? Regular Nike box. Yeah. Regular, ni regular Nike box. Yeah. When you get a Nike product, let's say you're paying, you pay 200, people pay 250 retail for the Yeezys. Mm -hmm. What kind of box did it come in? Regular Nike, yeah, regular, regular Nike box. Yeah. No special bag. Oh, it came with a special bag. It did. Mm -hmm. dust bag. Okay. I want to be taken care of as, as, a, as a consumer. And this is this is where Nike, Kanye's kind of brainwashed me. And I, you could call this a hype piece or whatever. But I feel like if I'm supporting a brand and spending so much money on it, I should be spending money on a brand that wants their consumers to be able to get their shoes or wants their uh, consumers to... to uh, 
You know, they care about them. I feel like Nike doesn't give a damn about us. That's why they release so many shoes and they make it so limited. And they know people are getting shot over Jordans every winter when the 11s come out. They know about all that stuff. They know that they're throwing these custom shoes with, in regular boxes and uh, messing up on orders and making the Nike ID prints fall off and just giving blue stains, them blue stains yeah. and they're all this paying $300 BS. for a custom shoe, like the one I wore today, my LeBron 10. Um, leads. When I first got those, I opened them up so excited. Glue stains everywhere. Mm -hmm. And if Adidas is going to show that they care about their customers by already taking care of no bots by releasing an app before a hyped up shoe hasn't even came out. So that's why I think that two years ago, if you would have asked me if I was going to buy some Adidas, I would have been like, no way, I'm a Nike guy. But slowly and slowly, I'm starting to realize that Nike doesn't give a damn about us. They'll release anything and they know people are going to buy it. So would I ever stop buying Nikes? Probably not, but I'm slowly starting to rethink everything that I'm buying because I'm thinking, is it something that I want in my collection later or is it something that's worth getting or is it even something that Nike cares about me having? So I don't am know if I you guys feel even, like that. Am I even getting my money's worth? Oh, tell, th this money's is a worth. really good point that I just realized last night when he told me was that I think one of the reasons why Nike makes a shoe so limited like a Red October or a regular Yeezy or an Air Mag is because they'll release it in that colorway and then what they'll do is that it's so limited that you'll want that shoe, another shoe in that colorway just because you can't get the real one. You'll so you'll make a, a like I'm gonna make an Air Mag LeBron because I can't get the real Air Mag. So mm -hmm. they know what they're doing as far as that and I never really thought about that until you said it yesterday. So and then was, what do they do? They give you that option on Nike ID? Yeah, so. And then it's what, 50 bucks more, 30 bucks more? Yeah. It's time for a change, so. ID Yeezys. Let's do it. I did this all the way. Adidas! <laughs> well that's it for episode 2 of Crew Cakes. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And again, for JP's part 2 of his collection, click that thumbs up. It will be next week on episode 3. What do you guys think? Comment down below what's your favorite sneaker that's releasing this weekend. What are you guys uh, trying to get? And what are your opinions, most importantly, on the Yeezy Adidas that are coming out? So um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And remember, we wear our sneakers! Bam! You guys wanna go eat? Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, we're not wearing shoes though. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Uh, see you guys Where next week. Where are sneakers? That's ah.